So here we are again. This is the second day. I'm going to be looking for Ormers. Now I've got the open back camera today, so hopefully you can hear me. We'll have a look around at other things as well. I'm um, hoping the tide's going to go a bit low. We're just going to go on this little reef here. I'm taking it quite easy today, that's why I've got the open back, because hopefully I'm not too worried about falling in the water, hopefully. We'll see. Uh, we've got a friend over here who's coming along as well. He did alright yesterday, had a nice batch of Ormers. So, this is Damien. So, how many dozen you got? <laughs> None. <laughs> None. <laughs> None. <laughs> None. <laughs> None. <laughs> right. Well, we're gonna, we'll be back when the tide's dropped a little bit more and we start finding stuff. Right. We're just going to take a look at a crab that's down here. It's a different kind of crab. You get them on the spring low tides. Just here. Gotta watch him, he's got big claws. It's like all knobbly in that. They get a bit bigger than this, but not a lot bigger. Back it back, let's get the stones back. He'll find his way. Just gonna go and take a look at something. Not sure what yet. The lobster. Yeah? It's only a little one. Yeah, can we see it? Who is it? You can come this side. Can't quite see. I can't put the camera in the water because obviously the, we've got the open case on. If you just want to pull it over that way, he's here. There he is. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can see that, but right there. You gonna get him? Or is he gonna get me? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let him go. Yeah. But there is a small lobster down there. So first one. One of the small stone. Nothing under it. Right. So you see here we have a crab, which is just come out of this hole here, so you do find them when you go down the beach. This one is probably probably near size. It doesn't feel very heavy though. Um, so that would be Yeah, I'd say it's size, but I'm not gonna bother with it. I'm gonna put him back in his home. Hopefully, you'll get left alone. There we go. Back you go, mate. So it's been hard work out here to the findings. Remember, we finally found one there. It's probably just under, I'd say, that one. Yeah. So I'm going to put that one back, a little baby one next to it. So. But that's... A lot of this has actually been turned already. You can see where a lot of white rocks, where the rocks have been turned over, not been put back. Or just that you can see they're moved. And like that, that's been moved. Yeah, we'll come back when we find something. Okay guys, we just picked up our first one. It's just oversized, it's not huge, but it's big enough. So we're going to have a little looky around these stones here, because they've obviously missed some. Oh, carry it. Let me get, see if I can get this stone back over. There she goes, okay. Nothing on that one, lots of eggs. Get that back over. There we go. Try this one. Nope, nothing under that one. Looks like it's going to be a one off. Yeah. Right. Sometimes when you, uh, lift rocks you find these top knots type of flatfish cling to the underside of the rock uh, you can eat them if they get big enough this is only a little one we'll let him go off he goes and we'll put his home back there we go so I just picked this one up I had a hell of a job getting at him 
broke his shell a bit trying to get him out this hole. He was so well jammed in there. But we got him, so now we're up to three. It's very quiet. I've moved to another reef now because we just weren't catching on the other one. But hopefully, we'll find a few around here. So, what I'm trying to do is go around the edge looking in crevices and hopefully not getting too deep. And there is the odd stone as well to look under here and there. Stone here, that's a possible chance. Nope, nothing under that one. Another stone there, yeah. And that one, nothing under that one. There's a few stones actually. We'll check all of these out, I think. Nothing under that. You'd have expected to see more here. It's the way it goes sometimes. Just see if there's any more stones around. A couple up here, but they might have been turned. What about that? Is that a stone? Might be, but it's a bit too big, I think, that one. There's one in the water. We're going to look at that in a minute. Let's take a look up here at these. There's a little patch of stone here. Here we go, it's a baby one, put him back carefully, there we go. just tilt this camera off a bit, it, it slips down, I don't know if you saw that, that one there, put that back, I'm thinking there'll be more, no, nope, nothing that one, nope, there's a nice one, right there. Absolute beauty that one is. Put that one off. And that is way over legal size, that one. Let me just check the rocks underneath, because sometimes I find them even under small stones. Right, let's see what's under these ones. Nothing. Maybe this one? Nope. You need a nice flat underside of the rock for them to cling to. This one. I think it's probably too small. And then let's check this rock out. And there's another. Oh, there's two nice ones. You have to get my hook again. So it's worth moving over here. One there. And another one. Just check there's nothing underneath. Okay. Right, I'll put those in my bag. And that one I believe is too small. Yeah. So we'll pop that back carefully. Let them get bigger. Well that was nice, we had a nice three, it just shows it can change all of a sudden. Right, I've just started I've just started finding a few here. This is just a little bit out from where we were before. I've just picked up a nice big one, probably the biggest one I've had. I'm just checking these stones down here under the water. Unfortunately I can't put the camera in the water because I've got this open back case again. Yesterday it was just too murky. So, nothing under that one. Another stone here, not a very big one, but it doesn't need to be big. Nice underneath the stone, that, but nothing on it. Okay. I'm not sure if this is a stone. I think it is, but I think that one's stuck in. A bit too big. So, have a look out here. There's a stone here. Have we got anything on that one? Uh, nope, see it. See an enemy. Look like an armor. Get that back over. Good. Okay. I don't think I've lifted this one yet. Start it with my hook. There's one there. I don't know if that's big enough. But... 
No, it's a little baby one. We'll put him back. What I do is take him off sometimes, put when you can't see how you're putting the rock back, then drop the armor down just so you don't crush the armor. I try to leave them on most times, but when we're checking them like that. Right, let's see what we got down here. Bit of weed crack in there, that means these rocks haven't been lifted for quite a long time. Uh, I've got high hopes for this. There we go. There's one. Oh, dropped it. But it's too small anyway, so pop the rock back and pop the armor down the side. He'll work, walk back under. So I thought I'd show you this. This is a squat lobster. It's got eggs, little tiny ones. They get bigger than this, not hugely bigger. You get ones that have actually got an electric blue line across the back. This one doesn't. It might be the males, I'm not sure. But there's a couple of species of them. So, you know, carefully put this back without crushing it. Well, I've come over here. I haven't found them yet. I keep looking. Put my glove back on because these rocks are quite sharp. All the barnacles and that. Where's your fingers out if you on it a long time. There's an interesting one, look. It's one of those crabs you looked at before, but this one's got white claws. Never seen that. We just flipped this rock and found an absolute beauty. Uh, now we'll look around here. And he's holding on tight, this one. There we go, that's what the hook's for. Push him off. See, we got a slightly flattened end. Push them off the rocks. Same. Normally you start finding them and you find loads, but or well, not loads, but several. But it's been very uh, sketchy this year, very spaced out. Hate it when that happens. Nothing under it, so it's okay. And nothing under that. Oh, it's pretty cold today, even with the sun. Not sure I checked this one. I think I did. Yeah. go a little bit further into the water because obviously less likely to be done this is the biggest tide of the year I think so far so Where's that perfect rock? <laughs> That's what we want, the perfect rock. Nothing out here. If 
few small ones. Nothing under that, apart from eggs. Maybe this one. Nope. Alright, how's it going? You got many? Got about that as well, half a dozen. No lobsters though. I've seen some small ones, but I'm not really bothering with the big holes. I went out over there yesterday at about 30. Yeah. Yeah. There was quite a few around, but not in the usual places. They're all in the cricks. Yeah. I've had a couple in the cricks. I've had, I've had a few under the small stones. Just turning the yeah. After yesterday, I reckon half of them came out the cricks. Yeah. Yeah. There just wasn't a lot under the stone. I think the storms push them into the crick. I found that before when it gets rough. It's been you know? rough for so long, actually. Yeah. I'm surprised there's any. Last year I think they all went out when we had that. We had a massive storm and it broke up a lot of rock out there. Yeah, and that's happening everywhere. Yeah, that first trip I did last year I had six and normally I'd do 25 or so, I had six. So, another little one. It's down on the rock, I don't know if you can see that little pink thing down there. I'm not going to bother taking him off because I know he's not going to hit the bottom when I turn the rock. Look at that one. And that. This is where we get the nothing now, now the camera's on. Those have been turned. I can actually see either an ormer or a shell just literally sitting on the bottom here. Let's go down and find out. Where was it? There. Yep. Now this has either fallen off when somebody's turned the stone or they put it back. And what am I going to say they did? I'm going to say they put it back. So, back it goes. Let's see if any of these will turn over off there. Yeah, a lot of this has been done. So you're looking for the odd one that's been missed. There's something interesting there, look. It's a cockle. He should be in the sand, really. We'll chuck him out. There we go. Not the best place to be in amongst the stones. Yeah, so most of this has been looked at. But you never know, some people race past and miss things. And I've got the snivels because it's cold. Always happens when you come warming. So we just passed a, an old timer. He's over there, just looking around. He's got himself about half a dozen, dozen warmers. And uh, came past, I'm not going to warm around where he is. Always show a bit of respect, especially with the old timers, you know. They've been doing this a long time. And it's great to see them down here. You know. Uh, it's good to see they still make the effort to come down. Keeps them going. Right, we're gonna hit some wind now. So I've just spotted a very small one. I'll see if I can get the camera in on it. It's only a tiny one, I'm not going to bother taking it out. It's in there, if you can see that. Oops, almost went backwards. Still um, walking around, looking for an area. I know this area, I mean, I grew up on this beach, so... And I know there's some stones over the back. But I just want to check along this edge while the tide's down. Because when it starts to come in, it'll come in very fast and you don't often get get to get to these spots just there's a nice few crevices around here but there is some rock I think it's in here or around here I haven't been here for years so yeah it's here but it's probably all been looked at on the last tide probably but we can have a quick mooch And if the rocks get put back, sometimes the ormers will go back under them. Yeah, that's been lifted, I can tell. So we won't bother, we'll go around the back edge. Like I said, it's probably the last tide most of those were lifted.
anybody home? Nope. <laughs> I'm not really worried about finding lobsters, really. I'll do that in the summer with the pots. For me, it's, it's all about catching the uh, ormers or abalones, or finding them. Because this is the only time of year you can go. Got strict rules on it, so. Well, that hasn't been lifted for a long time. Fortunately, it's stuck in the ground, so nothing under it. You'll find the ormers as well, simply by just moving weed sometimes. They'll be sitting in crevices, hidden under the seaweed. There's not a lot of weed around this year because of all the storms, it's ripped a lot of it away. Oh, there's a beauty, look at that. That's what we're after. A little baby one with it, but we want that one. That's a cracking one, that. That's got to be probably 10 centimetres. They do grow to about 12, 13 centimetres. They can get a bit bigger. But what happens is you get a sponge and it eats away at the shell. That's eventually what usually kills most of them. Right, put that one back. Very carefully. There we go. Have a quick look around these crevices because if there's one there, sometimes you'll find them very nearby some others. Nope. And these rocks have been lifted. See, they lifted these ones, but they missed that one stone. The one with the decent armor on there. Another knobbly crab, this one's purple. Oh, it's got a female under it. The female will have a soft shell. They'll be mating, and that's the time that they mate is when she's got a soft shell. And he'll be protecting her. So I'll put him gently down over there. No, I'm not going to take that off, I'm just going to check it. I think it's way too small. Yeah, way too small. And we'll keep going. See the storms are even breaking the rocks up. That came from over over here. Right there. And I say that's been happening a lot lately. With the, even out in the boat, some of the great big rocks you see out there have been collapsing into the sea. The last couple of years the storms have been incredible. There's a little baby one on there, in that corner, right there. You can see that. Right, I'm going to have a look in here. It's a likely spot sheltered, there you go. Perfect. Let's the hook again there. Sometimes you can just pull them off, but most of the time you've just got to get that hook under that foot. There we go. That size. But uh, you will find them in these little gully areas because it's sheltered from the incoming storms that come from the way we're looking now. And so they'll be quite sheltered in here. So I'll put my bag down and take a look under some more of these stones around here. A bit hard to see in the water, but it's also very deep there. I've got to be careful. Sometimes you step into it thinking it's not that deep. and suddenly find yourself up to your neck in it. Yeah. So I think that's about the only stone that's worth lifting, isn't it? Maybe this one. That one as well, maybe. Uh, oh, there is one. It was on the side. And there's two baby ones, see? Eh? I'll take that one. That'll be sized. And these two will be under, so... I'm just going to check the side of the rock. Sometimes you, when the stones against the rock like that, you get them stuck to the side. Like that, little baby one, see? Just popping back up on his way. Right, let's carefully put that back. 
check this little stone. You see, even that little stone's got a baby one on it. It's a pity there's not a few more stones in here because this this is a good little cove to find them in. Oh, there's a bigger rock here. I missed. That was too much on the bottom, I think. Oh no, there is one there, but that's too small. I'm going to take that one off because I don't know how the rock's going to land. Here we go. Pop him back and find his way under a rock or in a crevice. So yeah, that gets really deep in here. <laughs> I'm not going any further than this, even with waders. I see a nice hole over there and I reckon they, I might climb around and have a look at that. Let's take a look at this rock here. Aha, uh -huh, just spotted one. Right in the crevice here. Get that stone out first. Get that out. Probably as they cling on. I think that's big enough. Yep, easily. Let me just check something out. Just wanted to see because sometimes they turn the rocks back, they don't put them back the right way, but if it was an old turn back, occasionally you get the odd armor under it. Right. Uh, keep an eye out for the crevices again. And little rocks like this maybe. So my camera just went flat before, but coming around the corner here, we're only just over there somewhere, I looked at a hole and I managed to find this. I wasn't really looking for lobster, but I did see the claw and that is big enough. That's a lovely big lobster there. Unfortunately I've got no bands, so, and even carrying it up, the bag's quite full, was warm as you can see here, we've got quite a few. Um, I'm going to check them before I go up the beach again as well. But uh, we've got about a dozen in there, and we've got the lobster, so... It's all looking quite good. I'm going to slowly start making my way back. Uh, we've come all the way to the fort. A friend's actually gone back up the other way before, so he's going to come around with the car. And I'll meet him at the top. Right, so what we're going to do is... friend's waiting in the car up there. This lobster, which is hanging onto the hook at the moment. I'm going to give him the lobster. Um, like I say, I'll get the pots down in about March, catch some more so I can get lobster then. He does not have, often have lobster, so I'm gonna let him have this one if he wants it. Um, if I can ever get it to let go, there we go. Yeah. So. Long way up. <laughs> Brought you a present. There you go. You can oh, have you that. To pop them, pop them in your tank. No, you can have it if you want it. If you want it with your, yeah, if you want. It, yeah. yeah. yeah so I'll get some more in March and that anyway. So. Yeah, fine job. You know. I've got. A very snotty bag. Yes, yeah, all the holes in it. Make sure that goes in there. There's a tray in there. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just leave it in the back. Yeah. <laughs> let it hum for a few weeks. I'll okay. let you know. Well, you'll probably find it anyway. <laughs> So we've got a, a, a boot that's just stuck at the moment, we're just trying to get it open. Oh, you've got it in one. There you go. Idiot. 